For those who feel enough is not enough and failure is not an option. For those, there is Gamma Labs PTF, the next generation pre-workout supplement. What's process been like for you? You know, it's been a, it's been a test. First of all, it was a blessing to, to make it on the show and get it in the house. It's a blessing to get where I'm at. Uh, a lot of hard work and uh, perseverance through tough times. Uh, one thing I'm very grateful for is I had a great team, uh, you know, between the fighters and the coaches. But uh, it's been quite a journey, man. Yeah. What was this week like? Obviously, you finally got your phone back. You finally got public life. What, what was your, you know, what was your week? Did were you catching up with everybody? Did you decide to keep yourself isolated? How, how did you handle this week? Oh, I was all over calling my family. You know, I definitely had to get hold of my family, uh, a few close friends. And it just feels good to get out of the house, you know, and uh, being secluded from reality kind of, it's tough, you know, and now that I'm out of the house, I feel great, uh, you know, mentally and physically, I feel good. Spiritually, I feel even better. So, uh, you know, being out of the house is awesome, and I'm very excited to get in there and compete on Friday. What was the feedback like from your family, from your friends, whatever? So you had a, a tough choice to make, and it seems like it paid off. Well, you know, what was it like for everybody? The feedback was positive. You know, everybody wanted me to be here. Nobody at any point wanted me to drop out of this competition because of what had happened earlier in the season with my dad. But, uh, you know, it was an easy choice to stay in the competition. Everybody understood, and uh, everybody back home is uh, very proud of me. I know they touched on it earlier in the season, but when you got to leave for a day uh, to go back to, to your dad's funeral, I guess, it, how, how was that? Was that tough to come back, or did that make it easier talking to them? And... Uh, no, it, it wasn't tough at all. It's something that my dad and I had talked about before I had left. So, you know, it never crossed my mind at any point if I want to drop out of this competition or not. You know, when I went home, it was easy for me to go back. It was hard to leave my family, but it was an easy choice for me to stay in this competition. Uh, I know how much running through this competition from watching the show meant to you and, and, and the whole, you know, dedicating wins to your dad and your mom. But what about the rest of your family? Do you feel like uh, your run has kind of helped them, uh, you know, have something to, to, to be positive about and heal a little bit? You know, definitely. You know, uh, when you lose somebody as close as a father, you know, I don't know if anybody here can relate, but I'm, you know, the scars don't heal fast. You know, it's, uh, you know, my family, it's going to take a lot of time for us to cope and to get over it. You know, it'll probably hurt for a very long time, but. I know that every Friday night, whether I was fighting or not, you know, them getting to tune in and see the show and see me on the show, you know, I, I know that at least for an hour, you know, I made them pretty happy and I know that my family's proud of me and, uh, you know, I'm proud of them as well. Uh, are they going to get to be here on Friday? Absolutely. My mom and my sister, they got here yesterday. Um, you know, one of my sisters, my other sister, she's too far along in her pregnancy to be here. But, uh, you know, the, uh, the rest of my family's kind of overseas, so uh, mm -hmm. they weren't able to make it. But, you know, they're all supporting. They're all in my corner, and, uh, you know, it's awesome. You guys are the first guys that are coming into the finale fresh off fights. You know, in the past, everybody got the rest. Can't help but notice the black eye there. I mean, how, how is your body feeling? How, I mean, how, how are you physically coming into this match? You know, physically, I feel good. You know, you look back at the old UFCs, and guys had to fight three, four times in a night. And so I kind of I kind of reference to that a little bit, and you know it's like getting a week in between fights. It's not a big deal. You know I fought short in those fights before. I fought fights back to back. Definitely not uh, as high level of guys. You know these guys are so tough. Uh, I've been put to the test. You know time and time again. But uh, you know my body feels good, and uh, you know the the key is my mind feels even better. So as long as you got a strong mind, once you get out there, you'll forget about the nicks and bruises, and you'll go out there and perform. What are your thoughts on him as an opponent? You know, as an opponent, he's a tough guy. There's not a bad thing I can say about him in the world. He was a good guy. He was a great teammate. Um, you know, we met each other under these circumstances, so it's not a big deal that we got to go out and fight each other. It's just business. Uh, he's a well-rounded guy. You know, I know that there's some holes in his game, but, uh, you know, I'm not looking to exploit him to the media. I'm just looking to go out there and capitalize on him on Friday. Is there a history of practice? I mean, so I know that, you know, some guys say, well, we don't talk about what happens in the gym or whatever, but, I mean, it was one guy getting the better of each other at any point in time? You know, I'll admit that there was one episode, I'm sure. You know, I haven't seen any of the, any of the shows, but, you know, there was one day in specific, Al kind of got the best man. I was having a real bad day. No shame in that, but, I mean, for the rest of the season, it was tip for tap, man. We were battling all season. He was a very fun guy to train with. But, uh, yeah, you know, it's not – the TV plays things up a little too big. I just expect a very competitive fight and expect to see me win on Friday. At the beginning of the show, did you look at him as a guy that you thought might be in this position? Uh, absolutely. You know, I knew Al was going to go far in this competition. You know, uh, it's not just his attributes as a fighter. It's how he is mentally and his demeanor. You know, he's a grinder. He never really had much of an off day in practice. You know, he, he's mentally tough. You can tell. Um, but, you know, I'm excited. This is what I, I want to test myself against. You know what I mean? I want to fight the best guys here. I want to see where I stand in this sport. And uh, I think I've proven thus far that I belong in the UFC. But, uh, you know, I want to win that piece of glass. And I look forward to, to getting after it on Friday. It seemed like your teammates were kind of there, you know, t to be your support system when, you know, you were having a tough time on the show. Does that make it more difficult to fight one of your teammates now at the end of the season? 
you know, we kind of talked about it a little bit throughout the season, and uh, we all kind of agreed it'd be an honor to fight each other. It's, uh, you know, we've, we've pushed each other throughout this season. You know, we've all kind of carried each other. I wasn't the only person that had lows. You know, everybody needed help from somebody at some point. Um, but I was very blessed to have a good a good group of guys, a good team. You know, they were, they, were, they were behind me 100% when I had my bad days, especially everything with my dad. But, you know, getting out there and fighting now on Friday, you know, honestly, it's an honor. Uh, he's been a great teammate, and it's, it's going to be a fun fight. How, how therapeutic has the process of being in this house been? You know, he had, he had a distraction from everything that was going on. You didn't have to be around it every day. You could be here kind of focusing on that. How, how, how has that been for you? Uh, you know, I wouldn't say it was therapeutic. It was a battle, man. I, I really wanted to be with my family. You know, I missed them. And, uh, you know, uh, certain things, you don't always want to open up everything in the house, you know. So certain things I had to keep to myself. But, you know, it's all over now. And I, I'm so glad I finally get to talk to my family. And, uh, you know, mentally I'm in a great place now. But being in the house is definitely a mental test. I think it was for everybody. How has it been this week since you've been out? Freedom. Oh man, it's been great. You know, just I borderline had like a panic attack. I went to Walmart after my fight and went from being around nobody and I walked into Walmart to get a phone charger and was like, oh my gosh, look at all these people. You know what I mean? It just totally bugged me out. But, you know, I, I'm, I'm glad to be out. You know, I'm glad to be out of the house. When you're in the house, it's such a grind. You know, it feels like everything's taking forever. A day feels like a week. But, you know, now that it's over, it feels like it's just flew right by. And, uh, you know, this week's just been great. It's been great to see my friends, see my coaches. Hang out with Sam more finally, you know, because we didn't get to hang out so much in the house because of our training times. And more, most of anything, you know, it's been great to talk to my family and be with my family. I felt like maybe you've improved more than anyone on the show. He said your stand-up has gotten better by leaps and bounds. Do you agree with that? And if so, why do you think what enabled you to, to make those, those uh, steps? You know, uh, I wasn't shy of rape from the get-go. When I got in the house, I told him what my weak spots were. And, uh, you know, obviously, judging by my record, you can tell that, you know, my strengths, my wrestling, and my grappling. But, you know, I told him that my strike is my weak point. And uh, working with Master Tong um, and just everybody in general, working with Uriah, working with Buckles, everybody on the coaching staff. And, you know, it wasn't just the things they were showing me, but it was just they made me believe in myself. And that, that's been the key. You know, I, I've had stand-up throughout my career. I just never believed in it. I always thought that my strength was just my wrestling, but you know, uh, they really made me believe in myself as a fighter and believe in my striking. And uh, you know, it, it's it's only getting better by the day. So I'm really looking to show that uh, I've even made more improvements since I've been out of the house. And I want to show that on Friday. You've been in some tough fights and some tough spots, but you're behind. I mean, is that something that's you know kind of a pattern of your career that you know you can always dig deep, or has that been something new, kind of a development for? For you to know that you have that heart and you come from behind. If you look back to the uh, the promo when it was the the book with all 32 guys and it gave a little bit about uh, everybody's a fighter. That's the one thing I said is I just don't quit. You know, uh, it's not like every fight I've ever had in my career that it's been some come from behind battle. But you know, I've been there before. And, you know, I found a way to win, and that's the one thing I've always said is you know, 15 minutes is a long time to fight, and uh, within 15 minutes, it doesn't matter if I'm losing you know, or if I'm winning. I'll find a way to win. You know, I, I'm not a guy that's going to roll over and quit. You know, if I got three minutes left in a round and I'm down two love, you know, I'm going to get after and I'm going to find a way to win. So, you know, I'm hoping that I don't have to pull off another come from behind victory on Friday. But, you know, if I got to do it, it'll be done. Having Sam in the house is, is crucial. Uh, you know, he's more than a friend. He's like a big brother. Uh, you know, we turn to each other anytime we've had hardships in our life, whether it's within the sport or things outside of the sport. We've always turned to each other. And, uh, you know, it was just a blessing to have him here when everything happened with my dad because... You know, I had somebody to turn to, somebody that understood, somebody that knows my story, knows what I've been going through this, this last year. And, you know, there was times in the house when I had to be there for him. He endured a, a very tough loss to Saunders, you know, very controversial, and, uh, you know, he was beat up about it. And, uh, you know, he, in the same hand, he would say he was thankful that I was there as well to help him uh, cope with it and push through it. So, you know, brother, brothers in arms, man. Were you concerned when he was on the opposite team that maybe you would have to fight him? You know, it was never a concern um, until Dominic started uh, being kind of a drama queen and trying to pick at Sam about finding out my style and talking about matching us up. You know, I didn't come here to fight my brother. I came here to fight the best guys in the world. And uh, I think it was a little bit frustrating when, when Dominic started talking about matching us up because it's like there's, I came here to fight 15 other guys, 14 other guys. I didn't come here to, to fight my friend. I didn't come here to fight the guy that helped get me here. You know, Sam and I have, have propelled each other through our careers, you know, and uh, so, you know, it, we were never concerned being on opposite, opposite teams. It's honestly nice because now we get to exchange techniques, you know what I mean? I get to take what I learned and he gets to take what he learned and we get to mix it together and it's going to make us both better fighters once we get back home.
For those who feel enough is not enough and failure is not an option. For those, there's Gamma Labs pre-training formula, the next generation pre-workout supplement, a human enhancement formula designed to build a superior athlete. More power, more speed, more endurance, more mental focus, more of you. 